Hello Libra, thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning to my channel, welcome as well. I put the oracle cards over here, which will all be for you, Libra. The tarot cards over here, which will be the people around you, but you could show up over here as well. So I read the cards. You decide how and if they apply to you and your situation. But feel free to vice versa the masculine and feminine. So if I pull a card and I'm talking about a situation and say it's a king and you feel like it's a queen, but the situation fits, feel free to vice versa that. So I'm going to pull a fortune out of the fortune cookie for you, Libra. So your fortune cookie or fortune says, some people care too much, I think it's called love. Some people care too much, I think it's called love. And that could totally be you Libras, correct? All right, so Earth Wisdom card is what I'm pulling first for you, and you have Resilience. There is no need to rush or push. This is time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. So you see the three um, sea turtles swimming around, and there's a heart in the middle there. I do feel like you're where you're supposed to be, and you're really strong right now because you're helping somebody else. I feel like somebody is kind of watching how you're handling something, maybe even two people, and they're kind of following your behavior and modeling after you. Excuse me, that's so weird. So the next one is 25 Breakthrough to New Dimensions. A new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness. So this is Migaloo and Migaloo Jr. These are the albino whales seen off the coast of Australia. In the book it says the Australians consider good luck when they see Migaloo or Migaloo Jr. So I do feel like you have resilience right now to make somebody feel protected and strong. You're getting ready to burst forth an idea or a situation in your life to where I feel like at least one if not two other people are paying attention to what you're doing right now. But you're getting ready to just be strong and beautiful on something. So Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is regret, despair, and some sort of situation. Six of Coins. So Six of Coins is the universe feeling like you are deserving. It could be because of a despair, a very bad situation, um, somebody dealt you in life and the universe kind of wants to make up for you for it. They don't want you to be bitter. Five of Wands. So I do feel like there's a lot of energies talking about you, Libra. A lot of energies gossiping. And then the Tower moment. Wow. So the Tower moment happens when something isn't what we think it is. The universe will like pull the rug out from under us because we think it's a good foundation and it's really not. So when the Tower moment happens, it's just the universe making you aware of something you were not aware of before. And it's usually for your highest good. So Six of Swords, wow. So Six of Swords is somebody having regret about the way they talk to you, about the way they either pushed you away from them or they push themselves away from you. Some sort of situation where they have regrets. And the next one is King of Coins. So King of Coins is somebody offering stability, somebody who's very mature, who's very stable. I feel like they want to offer you something. And then Princess of Swords. So Princess of Swords is somebody spying on you? I feel like this person is younger. I feel like they're reporting back to the gossipers what they're finding out. So I don't know if somebody is tricking you, Libra. And they're coming to you and talking to you and then going back and telling other people. And then you have Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands is saying somebody has their guard up. Somebody is very guarded. The boundaries are up. And what did this go over? The tower. Yeah, somebody is very guarded. So Knight of Coins. So Knight of Coins is somebody younger than you as well. Somebody coming in to offer stability. So you have a younger and older. Feel free to reverse these to Princess and Queen where that would apply to you. But yeah, you have two people offering um, something to you. So the Emperor. Wow, wow, wow. So this is Aries placement. This is somebody who wants to be in control. Could be a narcissist. Somebody who wants to know every detail of where you are when you're not with them and then when you are with them they go review the view the videos of the house to make sure that you aren't lying and you didn't have somebody there you weren't supposed to 
I mean, uh, so Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is somebody taking their life and moving away from this Emperor energy. I feel like somebody, you could have all the money in the world and this person doesn't want to be controlled. They don't care how much money you have. They would rather have their freedom than have all the luxuries and be held prisoner. So Ace of Cups, wow. So I do feel like when you move away from this, somebody's going to offer you love. Somebody's coming in. So let's switch to the Mystical Cat's Tarot deck for you. Alright, so the first one is Earth Tom. Earth Tom is the universe sending something in to help you. There's going to be a divide of before and after. So something is going to happen in your life, whether it's from that tower or not, I'm not sure, to where there's going to be a difference in before something happened versus after. So I don't know, like, oh, I remember before I lost my job versus after. I remember when I lost the car versus after. Something like that. So then you have four of fire, which is marriage. So there could be some sort of marriage, long-term commitment situation that is changing. And then the empress. So the empress actually has her back to the marriage situation. The empress is nurturing, loving, mothering, new beginnings, beautifulness, um, healing. And then the fool, the cat. So I do feel like somebody's getting ready to take a leap of faith to go a new direction and do something they've never done before. So two of sky. So it took a long time for somebody to make a decision. I feel like they've been thinking about it for years. But for some reason in their life, they've come to the opportunity where they're actually ready to make something they've thought about for years, the decision. So there's Nine of Sky. So there's a lot of stress and regret not sleeping around a marriage situation, long-term commitment for some of you. And then selfishness, Eight of C. So I do feel like there's somebody who's very selfish and jealous of the Empress. Somebody wants what the Empress has, I feel. And then denial, Seven of C. So somebody is in denial, I feel like, of... Um, their life. Somebody's in denial of their life is for them. There's no need to be selfish and be hung up on what somebody else has or what somebody else is doing. Um, we're all here for our own reasons and our own life. And being bent on somebody else's life is not why we're here. So Four of Sky. So Four of Sky talks about healing a situation. Something is healing to where you're going to be able to move forward. And then nine of C. So somebody is stressed about their future. Somebody feels like their future is not going to be as successful or stable, as abundant as they want. And then the cat magic. So cat magic tells me there could be somebody who's doing spell work to secure their future because they have doubt. Um, it also could be somebody's having faith. But because it's clarifying the selfish card, I almost feel like somebody is so selfish. I don't know if somebody's taking somebody's faith away or something of that sort. And then Fire Kitten. So Fire Kitten, I do feel like there's somebody trying to do spell work, trying to bind somebody to a situation to keep them in or out of a love situation either or. So let me look at those real fast, see what comes up. So I do see a true love situation and somebody feeling trapped. I feel like a lot of conflict, a lot of people um, trying to get involved and just causing conflicts. Um, just a lot of conflict. A lot of people getting involved. So Oracle of E, Libra is X-ray vision number two. So this talks about you're going to have the ability to decipher who's for your highest good and who isn't. The universe is going to give you that little feeling, either the hair on your neck raises up when the vibe is not good, or you get a twitch on your eye or your mouth for some reason, or you bite your tongue. There's something that's going to alert you to be able to know who is good and who is for your not good. So GPS 15. So this tells me that you're where you're supposed to be. You're healing from something, but you are in a little more of aggressive energy right now, which is good. So they're giving you intuition. They're telling you where you're supposed to be, and they're giving you a little more um, aggressive energy. So practical intuition 30. So this talks about 
going round and round on something that you couldn't make a decision about. I don't know if it's something about yourself, like, am I psychic, am I not psychic, something like that. Am I an empath, am I not an empath? There's something you have been struggling with that you're getting ready to have the answer to. It's coming full circle and new beginning. Self-acceptance number nine. So I always explain this, that this is like steps of gold within yourself. When you climb the ladder of self-accepting yourself, you make yourself strong from the inside out. So the angels and ancestors, spring, see your seeds grow. I see, we see the spring right here with the bunny, we see the bunny here. So this could mean pregnancy for some of you. It also could mean new beginnings, a new love life, a new business, and a new um, beginning in a new state, new country, something of that. And then Father Sky, trust in the unknown. So you see the bird on there getting ready, um, the eagle to grab his talon onto the thunderbolt or the lightning bolt. And then Father Sky, I do feel like you're being gifted something beautiful. Um, if it's not a new baby, it's going to be something that is going to feel like a baby to you, whether it's a business that is beautiful and helps people in some way, or you help animals, I'm not really sure, but I'm getting that you're on the right path, Libra, and good things are coming to you. You've like went through some sort of shift to where you've transpired into a higher vibration. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much. Bless you, Libra.